Collectors, yes, I'm talking to you Pokemon collectors and investors. Today I'm going to be talking about buying cards from eBay to potentially grade. As you can see, we got a few different stacks. We're mainly going to focus on Pokemon, but we got a little bit of sports over here. Same thing sort of applies. All of these cards were bought off eBay, and I'm going to kind of go through uh, with the intention of hopefully grading them. It's hard to tell off pictures, and I'm going to tell you guys which stacks are the gradable ones and which ones are the ungradable, and we're going to talk about all of that in this video. First up, though, I wanted to talk to you guys. I've mentioned this in a, uh, some of these cards in a few other videos, but I wanted to talk about these... Uh, oops, excuse that camera wobble. They're Urshifu um, cards. So I picked up a few of these copies, as you guys can see. One, two, three, already in a 10. These were all around 30 or sub 30 i think one of these was like 25 bucks and i know that this is from brilliant stars and it's not from battle styles although there are some battle styles ones coming up but i just wanted to touch on these again just to let you know um one of the things i try and do on the channel is transparency that's why i'm showing you like grading plays i, I i'll answer any questions you guys have like i think transparency so uh, i'm not well and first off i'm not a big content creator anyways but i'm not pumping and dumping all this stuff but um these cards were so affordable that i got three and three is a really great number because you have one to keep in your pc and collect one to flip maybe like uh shorter term and then one to sell like long term and so i just thought that this artwork in this card in a 10 was way too cheap so there's that um, this card's really affordable um, in a 10 as well. This is from Battle Styles. This one's from Brilliant Stars as well. Um, I think this one was really cheap. It came with another card. But um, yeah, I don't like this one quite as much. But then um, I was getting a few of these. I just really like these artworks. Once again, super cyp in a PSA 10. Um, Calyrex, like, not the most popular Pokemon. But um, I like this artwork with the trainer. These are... Uh, both trainer galleries from Astral. Just cheap. Just thought I'd just thought I'd pick them up. Um, then let's talk about grading. Okay. So all of these were bought on eBay, right? These are Pokemon on this side. Gradable, not gradable. So this is sort of the reality of what can happen. Now I have had better luck in the past. Uh, with it not being quite uh, quite this off. But let me show you uh, what was gradable out of these. I got the Umbreon. So I, I, I got a Crown Zenith lot that I was hoping, as you can see over there, I was hoping more of the cards, they were advertised as being all ready to grade. And as you guys can see, not all of them are, although I, these cards, like, so I've learned to be much more strict so these cards are all really good there is some more questionable ones over here that we'll go through um we'll just start here uh these four right here had little dings on them um that kind of like a little rolled edge so i might be able to maybe fix those um this one this one was not bought to grade it. I don't know why this is in here. Uh, this one's off center, but I just got this front one for really cheap. Um, but then, so you guys can see a lot more Crown Zenith in here. Zenith, Zenith, whatever. Um, and a lot of these Umbreons that I bought, possibly with the intention to grade. Now, these aren't going for a lot, but if you get them for a good price, because of the, popular, of the popularity of the Moonbreon, so, as you guys can see, I went a little hard here on the uh, Umbreons, and this is the worst example. So I only have one that I thought for sure was a 10. Now, I should be able to go through here, through this stack, and hopefully submit a few of these, right? So hopefully this will change. Um, they might just need a little bit of work. And some of them were like borderline, like... If I thought they were for sure, and like I might send some of the ones that I thought were probably a nine, but maybe had a low chance at a ten. So I still have to dive through those further. That's like my first assessment. Um, then, if you guys aren't into sports cards, um, you know, that's fine. You can skip 
past this part, but just wanted to touch on this. This one's a little closer, um, but these were all bought off eBay, and these are the ones that are uh, gradable potentials. This is the Austin Reeves out of 99. I saw that a lot of these Phoenix cards um, were really affordable, really cheap. Like this is a Lamar Jackson that I got for out of 25 that I got for really cheap. Um, Brock Purdy. This one's out of 199. To, uh, so trying to get like quarterbacks. Now this is an interesting play. This is kind of like the Umbrown where it doesn't sell for a lot in a 10, but there is room to be made here on these Anthony Richardsons. This card stock, these cards are all 10s, like guaranteed. So I might be picking up more of these where it's not a high margin play, um, but I might get a few of these graded and hold them for the season um, if he starts playing well. Probably flip some now and some later. Um, but yeah, so not that many gradables there. And then these were the ungradables. A lot of these these Phoenix cards, um, this was the same style of card, but it had a ding up here in the corner that wasn't couldn't see it in the listing because the background was white. Um, but a lot of these Phoenix cards just have scratches or print lines. So, But I was picking them up for real cheap. I think this Rogers was out of 50. Yeah. Um, and anyways, so that is the reality of buying raw on eBay to potential to potentially grade. So whenever you guys can go to your LGS, go to card shows so you guys can actually get your hands on these cards and take a look at them. Um, but when in doubt, trying to be ahead of the game on, on, like I said, on these on these tens, um, I think you can't really go wrong with that either. But that's kind of all I had for this one, guys. I just wanted to get a little video out there for you guys uh, on this Saturday. And my desk was full of these cards, so I figured might as well they're already here. Let's talk about them. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed and you're this far, obviously you like the video. So go down there and subscribe. Hit the like button while you're there. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember... It was never a phase.